Okay, guys, so that is it for The Last of Us playthrough. Now, there is a DLC uh, side mission called Left Behind, and pretty much that will we'll be playing as Ellie, along with her best friend Rally, too, in that storyline. So, we're going to be checking that out after this one. But other than that, uh, that is the whole main playthrough of The Last of Us Remastered, and I quite enjoyed the game. Uh, I did. I did enjoy the the story. I think the atmosphere is really good. The setting is really good. Also, it's a bit unsettling considering that it is very relevant of what's going on today. Or well, it's getting close to that, but this game came out like in 2009, I believe, 2010, around there. And this shit came out 10 years ago, essentially. And I predicted of a lot of crazy stuff that was going to happen even today, like pandemics, all kinds of crazy shit. But I think this game has a, a lot, you know, has a lot going for it. I, to be honest here, guys, I did find it a bit overrated. Uh, just being completely 100% honest here, I, I find the game a bit un uh, overrated, in my opinion. Like, I think the, the you no, know, the setting, like I say, is good. The character is good too, uh, especially the voice actor who did Joel. It's just all the voice actor who did in this game. They did a fantastic job. But, like I said, this is an older game, and uh, I haven't played PlayStation exclusive games for a very, 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 very long time. But, I don't know. Uh, it's a good game, but it's not a game that I was really looking, you know, that I was expecting to be. Uh, this game does have a lot of issues, especially in terms of gameplay. And, uh, and some of the scripting, uh, and some of the weird glitches I went to the game to, like sometime the bosses or the encounters would be completely broken. I had to restart last checkpoint to fix it. Uh, but overall, though, I did like the game, but I did find it a bit overrated. Like I don't know, this is something about this game. I just I wanted a little bit more out of it, but it was kind of eh. I was hoping for more, but hopefully part two will live up to the name. Part two does look really, really good. Uh, the graphics definitely has has drastically improved. I'm really hoping to improve the gameplay too, because that's what really that was my main critique of this game is the is the combat. I did not enjoy the gameplay, especially with the especially when you're using a bow and arrow. Like I said, it's probably me sucking ass because. Uh, you know, I'm playing with a controller here, so aiming with the controller when, when it comes to shooting, I'm not good with consoles. As simple as that, but... And, oh, look at that! Nolan North was David. Wow. Crazy. Great actor, by the way. I believe he's also... in Destiny as that little drone thing, too. Forgot his name, uh, but he, he did play as that drone thing, too. Uh, but... I don't know, I, just, I expected a little bit more of this game. It's a good game, and like I say, it's a good game. It's probably not one of Naughty's Dog's best. I still consider uh, Uncharted definitely one of the best work. Uh, I'm probably gonna replay that game too. I'm gonna replay the whole series again and play uh, Uncharted 4 because I think that's the only one I have never played. I never played Uncharted 4. Vaguely remember Uncharted 3 and 2. Well, I remember a lot of Uncharted 2. I think Uncharted 2 was pretty good. I don't remember too much about the first game and the third game, so it would be nice, to, you know, to play those game again and relieve, you know, just to relive the moments of that game because Nature and Drift was a fantastic game too by Naughty Dog. Excellent freaking game. Excellent storyline. Cutscene, fantastic. Uh, don't remember how about the combat, but I know the combat involves a lot of shootings and uh, I think platforming too, so. Uh, we're gonna have a lot of fun playing that game. I know that for sure. Uh, though, but yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to Last of Us too. Like I said, I think the character and the storyline is fantastic in this game. Like I said, it's very relevant to you know what's going on today with the exception of the fungus zombies here. The clickers, I would say, is definitely one of the biggest highlights of this game. The clickers are absolutely terrifying zombies. And they're not even zombie technically; they're so technically people, but. Well, I guess they're all zombies as well, but because you got the fungus going all over their head and it's not losing their mind. So technically they're all zombies, but they're also not dead either. They're still alive still. So, uh, the clickers are definitely one of the more terrifying zombies to face because, one, they look and they sound terrifying. Especially the sound to me. Very terrifying. You hear that in the middle of the, in, in pitch darkness, you're going to definitely be shitting your pants. 
And just the, the way the infection works, you know, it's fungus, it's based on real life elements. You know, there are some mushroom elements out there that does somewhat bring back dead things back, like, you know, bugs and all that stuff. So it is cool that, you know, they base uh, the, the virus on a real life, you know, element rather than digging some crazy, you know, some other crazy shit that, you know, that people consider the zombies. But it's cool that, like I said, it's, it's a little bit, it's a lot more grounded compared to any other post-apocalyptic games out there that I've played. So I do like it that this game is meant to be a little bit more realistic and uh, all that stuff. But yeah, zombies in this game are absolutely terrifying. Uh, the only special zombie we ever faced was the bloater. Those, that's the only unique one we faced. Those things are... A bit scary to fight, but once you got enough Molotov, you should be fine because the Molotov brings this health down by quite a bit. Just don't get grabbed, you will get absolutely messed up. And I seen it happen when I, when, when I faced it at the, at the high school. At, and man, I did not expect you know, him to grab Jordan and rip his freaking jaws off. I was like, holy shit. I was like, alright. <laughs> so. Hopefully with uh, Last of Us 2, they will add a lot more crazy stuff in there, like more special, uh, no, more specialized, you know, clickers in there, like the bloater. So hopefully we see something like that in there. And considering we'll be playing as Ellie, you know, the infection should be no issues at all. Uh, so, but like I said, they are evolving, so we never know what we're gonna, what we're gonna face in part two. So we'll see what happens. Uh, but I can't. The storyline, I do quite enjoy the storyline though. The storyline is really good. Maybe tragic, by the way. The opening is just, man, it's fucked up. But, I don't know. I think what Joel did was probably not for the best, in my opinion. Like, and I think he's lying to Ellie, too, that, the, that what, what he told about her about the fireflies were true. I think he's not telling the whole truth about what happened. Because, he just really want, all he wanted to do is get the heck uh, make sure he wanted to make sure he met, uh, she made it out alive because it would involve surgery which involves maybe the pie had to kill her you know to get the little the fungo stuff on growing her arm to make a vaccine but i don't know maybe it's too late you know maybe it's too late for a cure because almost everybody in the whole population is infected maybe they could save the runners though the runners they could probably save but the clickers you can did I hear something that hits that? Okay. But, yeah. The clickers... Like, the clickers is probably uh, a lost cause. But the runners, I think they can definitely save. But I have a feeling Joel is not telling the full story to Ellie. So, maybe part two. Uh, he might end up spilling the beans. And she's probably not going to like what she's about to hear. That's all I got to say. But... Other than that, guys, that's going to be it for The Last of Us. Uh, like I said, fantastic story, great atmosphere, great music, by the way. Music, whoever did the music for this game is fucking fantastic. Music's great. The design of the clickers and the zombies are absolutely ingenious. And the only bad thing I have to say is, well, the controls are not that, not that responsive. The combat kind of sucks. And the self-system is also shit in this game, too. So I'm hoping that they drastically improve the gameplay in part two. I'm really hoping because the gameplay in this game kind of suck in my opinion. So hopefully the game, like I said, it will be a lot more smoother and hopefully we get better frames because I don't know why I'm not getting 60 frames. It might look 60 frames on the video, but I don't know what the hell is going on. But yep, uh, stay tuned for the Left Behind side story for The Last of Us. We're going to be checking that out. And then I will be the conclusion to The Last of Us playthrough. And then I'm really hoping you guys would be looking forward to The Last of Us 2 playthrough. And uh, if you guys enjoyed the series, hit the like button. And if you guys didn't, just hit the dislike button. It's all to you. And if you guys want to see more uh, Last of Us or any of the other games you want to suggest for me to play, leave in the comments down below and uh, I will check them out. But yeah, guys. Uh, until then, I will see you in the next one. Peace.